It's the CBT Micro Nuggets for Office 2013. I'm Chris Ward, and today we're going to teach you some table manners. Well, kind of. We're going to give you table tips on how you can be a little bit more effective when you're using tables in your Word documents. Because, let's face it, a lot of times we're not using Excel because the power of tables within Word 2013 enables us to create great documents without having to really just put together this entire huge spreadsheet. So, let's sit back, relax, and actually take a little bit of a sci-fi journey in this micro nugget. So what I've done is for some of my friends who know that I am a huge Doctor Who fan, which is a science fiction series on BBC, and maybe some of you are uh, listening or watching this and are from that area or watch it around the world. It's very popular. And I want to tell them a little bit about each one of these incarnations of the Doctor and put a little table. But right now, obviously, I've got a title. I've got a little bit of text. I want to make this look better. So here's some cool table tricks to really make your table stand out. First off, anytime you have headers, notice the headers are going the same way. One of the things that I do is I come in here and I actually change the headers to go instead of a horizontal text, I make them go uh, vertical. Now the way you do this is you highlight whatever text you want. You come over here to the layout and notice here text direction which is part of the alignment. Now we kind of cover this by the way in the CBT series on Word 2013 and several others, but go ahead and click it, and I like to have it go up and down this way. So, form number, actor's name, clothing, vocal, uh, vocalism, and food. Sounds good. The other thing I like to do is I like to fill in the cells. And so, what you can do is see, notice here you have shading, and so I can come here, click on it, and say I want to have black. No, nah, Doctor Who's more blue. So, we'll kind of do this kind of blue right there. And then to make that stand out, I have to come over here to home. Take the text color, which we will go with a white text color. So there you go. So now we have that, and uh, let's do one more thing. By the way, you'll notice that it highlights the text like that. It's kind of funny. The, the cursor actually changes to that parallel bars up and down. And we'll go ahead and bold, and we will change this to a Franklin Gothic. Okay. Actually, you probably don't need it because it's already bold. Okay, so there you go. Form number, actor's name, clothing, vocalism, and food. Now, let's say I want to put the logo back behind the table. I can do that as well just by simply coming up over here. By the way, deselect the uh, table because when you have the table selected and you come up here to insert, if I'm on here, uh, it, it wouldn't have allowed me at that point to insert pictures. Now, I'm going to go ahead and come over here, insert a picture. And there's my Doctor Who logo. Click Insert, and there it is. But, but it's not behind that. Why is that? Well, remember, this is an object, and so it's going to say, ah, oh, well, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to wrap around any of these other objects. So you can come over here to your Quick Layout options and go behind the text. And when you do that, notice, I can now bring my Doctor Who logo in right there. And so it's now in, back, and behind. Now, of course, you you can see that some of this, you could say, well, it's kind of dark. Can I make some changes to this? Well, you know, certainly you can. You can use some of the design layouts and stuff like that if you want to. Another thing you can do is, I do believe, is it over here in color? Yeah, you can do more of a washout. So I click on washout. Now the Doctor Who logo is in behind. And wow, that's looking a lot better. And then finally, a real quick tip here to kind of help you out there is, let's say um, I don't know any information here, and I'm unable to, uh, I just want to put a big X in this. Well, one of the things I can do is when I have the table, and you have the design, right, all those kind of things, and also the layout, notice it says draw table here. When I do that, I can come in here and I can add a little X here. So, you know, I'm just basically saying, nope, I do not have anything in this particular area and you just draw these in which of course then allows people to know ah there you go that makes sense you know there's nothing in here right now now of course i can remove that because i can use the eraser when i'm ready to put some text in there i just simply click that boom done so this is a great way to kind of make people's eyes draw right to the things you actually have in information final little trick notice all my text is up here what if I want my table to kind of have the text wrap around that? Well, a little, uh, you know, most of you I would I would think um, would understand this, and that is is that has to deal with this object and how it relates to the text that's around it. So we come up over here to our table, 
go to our layout and then you notice that under cell size you've got the table properties when I do that one of the things I can do is I can say how do you want the text to work I say click around I click OK and now if I take my table and just start moving it up oh, you can see right there now it says oh yeah you want to move it up a little bit we can do that of course it's sometimes fun to try to do this and you can also of course just hit this return and now the text is going to wrap around the object so this is just a couple of tips on how to use tables how to make them look a little bit better and hopefully when next time you're putting together your document and you've got a table you want to add some color and life to these tips are going to help you out I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for joining me